Hey. I just got that job at the Petro refinery plant. Congratulations. But you don't look very happy about it. I really need this job, but I'm worried about benzene toxicity. Exposure is associated with leukemia. That's right. But you're not alone. About 2 million U.S. workers are at risk for benzene exposure. Yes, that's true. OSHA has set standards to protect workers. Isn't the OSHA standard set to one part per million time weighted at average exposure? That seems pretty good, doesn't it? Yes. But even at that level, there are 10 extra leukemia deaths per 1,000 workers. Part of the reason is that some workers are more genetically susceptible to developing leukemia as a result of benzene exposure. Could you be tested for the genetic polymorphism that makes you susceptible? Yes, but those genes are involved in benzene's metabolism, which is very complicated. Benzene metabolism starts in the liver, and the metabolite that causes most damage to the bone marrow is benzoquinone. Some variants of cytochrome P4, 50 enzymes in NQ0, one increased toxicity, while other variants of GSH and MPO decrease toxicity. That's very complicated indeed. If I were to have genetic testing, the business or a future employer could discriminate against me based on the results. That is prohibited by GINA, the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act of 2008. Yes, but that law will be difficult to enforce. I would feel more comfortable if OSHA would further lower their permissible exposure limit as suggested by the American Council of Governmental Industrial Hygienists or the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. That's a mouthful. Yes, we have many government bodies. But if we lowered the standard, industry would invest in protecting all workers instead of singling out individuals. That makes sense to me. Would you like a cigarette? No thanks. Smokers get 4% of the benzene exposure experienced daily by an exposed worker. I start work tomorrow so I better lay off the smokes.